Yeah, hi everyone. Um, I feel a little bit um, uh, insecure being up here because, um, uh, let's put it this way, um, having a guy doing, uh, well, a guy having history of uh, depression uh, doing jokes for a crowd like this is kind of like um, asking George Bush to uh, construct, uh, put together IKEA furniture. <laughs> and you get the instruction paper, right? But, um, yeah. But I think he'd he, he do okay, I think, because uh, after all, he went to Yale. <laughs> and um, I went to McGill. McGill's a little harder. <laughs> yeah, especially on your legs. <laughs> when your last class is down on Sherbrooke Street and your next class is up at Rutherford or up at the Education Building up on Pine Avenue, and you gotta be there in five minutes. <laughs> You know where they put the faculty of psychiatry, don't you? <laughs> you go all the way to the top of Peel, and you keep on going, right into Mount Royal Park, and you'll find it. You gotta be nuts to go up there in a few days. <laughs> anyway, um, normal people, uh, they have uh, they have mental institutions too, except they don't call them uh, hospitals. They call them shopping malls. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Uh, the, the first thing you, the first thing that happens when you arrive at a shopping mall, you uh, take a test in anger management. <laughs> It's called finding a parking space. <laughs> and then when you go in, you hear all these voices and through the windows coming, buy me, buy me, buy me, you know? And if you succumb to all these voices, and you buy everything that you think you're supposed to buy, you become a hoarder, <laughs> you know? And, um, well, anyway, um, what happens after that? Oh, okay. Uh, once you get out uh, of the shopping mall, uh, you go through a memory test. It's called, where the hell did I put my car? <laughs> and in most cities, if you can't remember, then you probably are starting to have Alzheimer's. But in Montreal, if you can't find your car, forget it, it's stolen. It's, in, it's in Saudi Arabia somewhere. But anyway. Yeah, I used to have a hoarding problem, but I ran out of space. Yeah. And uh, I'm always I'm always late for uh, appointments because I couldn't find where I couldn't remember where I put my front door. <laughs> now I know why David said keep your uh, act down to six or seven minutes. My act was up around eleven minutes, but if I'm up here for eleven minutes under this air conditioning, you become a popsicle. <laughs> uh, anyway. So, um, if, uh, if any of you don't think you can become hoarders, uh, just go into a Costco. <laughs> just go in for bread and milk. Uh, I know this guy, uh, that's what he does, he goes in for bread and milk and he comes out with a sales slip for $475. <laughs> Anybody have that experience? Okay. Yeah, I'm talking to the right crowd. Then. Okay. And um, just to finish the uh, topic of IKEA, 
Uh, he's harping on them, but uh, they're fun to pick on. So, um, those of you who listen to Q92, have you heard this new IKEA commercial where this guy comes on with this fake Swedish voice and says, uh, "Are you ready for a war group organizer?" And um, the husband says, "Honey, where's my blue shirt?" And the uh, the wife says, "Go check the bedroom closet." So you hear the guy opening the door and. Everything comes falling out, including uh, uh, a screaming elephant. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. If you've got a screaming elephant in your bedroom closet, horning is not your only problem. <laughs> um, I guess you know that we live in a throwaway society. Uh, every, everything becomes obsolete in about six months or even a year. And um, that's good for me because uh, I live in an apartment building with about 310 apartments. As a matter of fact, some of my neighbors on my floor are here. Uh, yeah, so I can't be SUA. But anyway, um, why am I telling you this? Well, it's because um, uh, people who have money to blow, they go down to Future Shop and Best Buy and they buy these 54 inch uh, flat screen TVs and then they throw out the other ones that they have. Well, I got a 54 inch or two. Uh, I took two of your 27 inch shirts that you threw out. I put them next to each other. So I got 54 inches. And I can watch two programs at the same time. Oh, boy. Well, um, like I said before, um, uh, I did have a hoarding problem, but I ran out of space. Um, now I'm de-hoarding. Um, I've got 14 working television sets in my apartment. And uh, uh, four are in the living room, ten are in the bedroom. And uh, uh, can you imagine how many hockey games you can watch at the same time? Gosh, somebody would be scoring in your bedroom every five minutes. Now that the Blackhawks won the Stanley Cup, uh, we're now into basketball. And you know how the numbers go up? And instead of 3 to 2, it's 106 to 97. Anyway, um, I used to take a, a pill called Wellbutrin, but I'm leery about pills that have names like Wellbutrin. Uh, like, it, had, it starts with the name Well, and then it goes to But. <laughs> well, But What? <laughs> you know? I'm lucky to uh, live on the south side of my building, so I get all the American stations and I can't get anything local. CTV, CBC, I can't get any of those. So I, so I watch American stations and uh, probably for those of you who are on cable, you know that on US stations, uh, uh, when they promote pills, they have these uh, huge little speeches about uh, side effects. And um, some of them are just, they just blow your mind. Like, uh, for example, um, uh, here's one. This medication may not be for everyone. I hope not. <laughs> C, 
see your doctor before taking this product if you are pregnant, or if you plan to be pregnant, or wish to be pregnant, or you have a mother who was once pregnant. And that counts uh, just about everybody in. Sexual side effects, they say. Well, in other words, forget, a, forget about making a home run. Matter of fact, forget about a third base, forget about a second base. Uh, just do what I do. Just go out on in your balcony with a pair of binoculars and watch everybody else do it. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get help from the guy who uh, is in here who lives right next door to me. So, anyway, that's it for me.